Hey guys, this is Tommy Tan, the life man, and today I want to talk about, you know, you know, the problem, you know, living in the American society, you know, of the culture as well, and, you know, American culture, everything messed up about living in the American culture. I mean, I mean, once you live, you know, in the American society, you know, you were you grew up, you know, and then when you wanna complain about something or blame others, you know, like let's say if you complain about feeling lonely and left out, and you get and you have this some type of depression problem, you know, because you know in American culture, you know, you feel you know, isol this isolation. There's a lot of separation, you know, in uh, American culture. You know, everybody's there in their own bubbles. Everybody's in their own worlds, you know. And, you know, that's just how it is in America. And the problem in American society is that, you know, you can't blame other people, you know. Uh, when you try to blame other people... You know, when you feel loneliness, isolation, separation in American culture, you know, I mean, you're taught to blame yourself, you know, you taught, you know, that the problem is not the people in America. The problem is you within yourself. You have to learn how to be happy to be alone. I mean, it's okay to... It is good and it is okay to be, you know, happy to be alone and feel lonely. But in the long run, it's bad to feel lonely and isolated and separated from other people. Like you're alienated, you know, and that's not healthy. I mean, if you're a new guy, you go out in public alone. You try to talk to strangers, try to talk to new people, try to become friends with them. I mean, they, they might end up thinking, you know, you're trying to stalk them, you're some type of damn creep. I mean, it, that's messed up. You know, that's the American culture. That's the human behavior in America. I mean, how, why is that, you know? You know, people nowadays, you know, are not friendly as they used to be. Everybody now is just self-absorbed, self-centered. You know, people now are mean and hateful and unfriendly, you know. Nobody say hi to each other no, no more. I mean, even you go out to, you know, the neighborhood in America, nobody talks to each other no more. Nobody doesn't even care to know each other no more. You know, neighbors back in the 1960s and the 1990s, they used to talk to to each other as like brothers and sisters and like families, you know. But nowadays, American society, you know, has become very, very messed up, you know. People don't care about each other no more. They don't even look at other people as human beings no more, you know. You know, everybody just look at each other like then alien, you know, like or like you're some type of criminal or you're some type of creep, you know, in America, you know, if you go to Europe, uh, even South Latin America, Russia, you know, when you go to talk to people, you know, people are very open, people are very friendly, down to earth, you know, they don't judge you by your job or your career like Americans do. You know, European people, you know, I heard that, you know, they judge you from your, you know, life experiences, you know. Everybody in America now is is just stuck in a trap like a prisoner, you know. They, they lock themselves up in the house all day. They watch TV or they play video games or they read books, you know. They don't, they don't socialize a lot no more. I mean... I mean, I mean, having an anti-social life, you know, how is that healthy, you know, 
Americans nowadays, society, they expect you to be happy, you know, alone, which is okay. But in the long run, when you want to make new friends out of high school, after high school, after even after high school, you know, you live lonely. How is it healthy to live a lonely life with no, you know, without having a, a, a girlfriend or a wife, you know, or whatever, you know, how is that healthy, you know? I mean, American society, you know, they say they will blame on you if you're trying to blame on the society while you're living in a isolated, separated, lonely American society. You know, everybody just thinks everybody's a creep, freak, everybody's bad, everybody, someone's a criminal, everybody out here trying to do something bad to you. It just feels like that way, you know, living in this American society. I mean, that's messed up, you know, and I don't enjoy that, you know. And if you travel to the Caribbean seas or Mexico or U Europe, their society and culture is very open-minded and they're very sociable. Nobody thinks everybody's a cream. Nobody thinks everybody's bad or criminal. People just look at people as human beings, you know. You know, and human beings should treat each other with love and, you know, compassion and friendliness. But in American society, everybody disagrees with, you lot, with, with each other a lot. You know, everybody has their own opinion about religion, politics, different, you know, daily life, living ways of their ways of thinking. Um. You know, it's just America, it just makes up with so many crazy shit, you know. And why not leave America, you know? If you're not happy living in America, why not someday buy a plane ticket, pack your clothes, and just leave, you know? I mean, it's not healthy. I remember when I was 17 years old. 17 years old, I traveled over to the Caribbean Seas near Mexico on a big, huge you know, boat, it was a cruise boat. It was a big, huge cruise boat. And then when I travel overseas, I felt, you know, like a lot of people started to be open-minded, started to be friendlier, started to act sweet, kind, you know, caring, you know, open-minded, sociable. You know, when I left the United States over to the Caribbean seas, you know, and I met these beautiful women, you know, on this big, huge boat. They were very kind to me, sweet, down to earth. They were cool with me. They were very, you know, talkable, sociable. They wanted to start a conversation with me. But trying to start a conversation with women in America as a man, they think I'm some type of creep or stalker, you know, which is very bad, you know. I mean, women has become, you know, very, seem to be anti, you know, sociable with, you know, men nowadays in America. They don't act sweet no more. They don't act feminine no more. Um, it's hard for men nowadays in America to look for a date or to look for a friendship with women in America. And that's why they make all these online dating apps for men and women to, you know, they, you know, look out for each other, you know. I mean, that's even not a good thing to do because that's anti-social right there. You know, you're using electronic, you know. I mean, it's very messed up, you know, how American society is, you know, uh, American culture, you know, it, it's, it's messed up. You know, people in American culture are obsessed with sport, music, video games, movies, uh, social media, you know, it's just, American culture is a, you know, isolated, separated culture. Everybody, you know, just don't look at each other as humans no more. Everybody look at each other like they're aliens, you know, some type of criminal. I mean, that's not healthy, you know, how, how, how can, 
you know, how how is it bad for a man to compliment, you know, a woman or to like a woman? How, how is that a bad thing? You know, a man supposed to like a woman. If he likes a woman, he likes a woman. If he finds her attractive, he finds her attractive. I mean, how's that creepy? You know, how's that creepy? I mean, it just seems like in American society, you know, they think that's a bad thing now because they brainwash people in the media, in the news, you know, that every man now is like Ted Bundy or some type of serial killer. I mean, that's messed up, you know. I mean, they don't do that in Europe. They don't do that in Latin, South Latin America. You go live there, you know, try to start a new life, try to live a healthy, better social health life, dating life there. It's very different. It's very, you know, unique. You know, everybody there in those countries, they're not very hatred towards you. They're not racist towards you. They're not very unfriendly towards you. You know, or mean like how Americans are. You know, Americans nowadays are so mean and rude, you know. You know, and a lot of Americans, they drive cars a lot. You know, they don't walk a lot. They don't, they don't, you know, do a lot of physical active activities like people in Europe. People in Europe, for example, they're very good in shape. You know, they're thin, slim because they walk outside a lot. You know, they ride bikes. You know, they don't have to drive so much like Americans do, you know. So that's the problem, you know, you know, in American society, you know, and um, everybody in American culture, society is very judgmental too, you know, they judge you, they might think you're gay, they might think you're some type of, uh, you know, homosexual, they might think you're this, that, it's just really messed up, you know, people are in their own heads too much, you know. Um, you know, people judge you, what type of job you have. Like, they might ask you, you know, hey, uh, what type of job you do? And I work at Walmart. And they, they, they judge you automatically. That's, they judge you automatically. Hey, that's who you are. You, you're a Walmart worker. Okay, you're a store worker. I mean, that's not really a right thing to do. That's, you don't judge people by their jobs, you know. That's not who they are for their whole entire life, you know. You know, um... Uh, you only judge people by what personal experiences did they have in their own, you know, childhood to their adulthood. You know, what have they done with their life, you know? I mean, that's how American society is, you know? I mean, American society is dis dysfunctional too. And I have to agree that American society is dysfunctional. Everybody disagree with each other. You know, the poor, rich people in America, they have their own opinions, they look at life differently from each other, and <sighs> that's, I mean, it doesn't make sense, you know, how can you blame yourself when American society is not able wanting to help you, you know, when you have depression problem, or feeling isolated, separated, and lonely, you know, how is that healthy? You know, you know, isn't that why, you know, so many, you know, uh, men in America, they commit suicide, you know, because they get depressed, you know, they feel lonely so much, they feel isolated, separated from other people. I mean, women in America, uh, they get help a lot more than men, you know, if a woman feel lonely or depressed. Any of their friends or anybody will run to them and help them. But for men, it's different, you know. Men, for men, for men in America, in this society, it's different for them. It's, we have to help ourselves, you know. They think that men, they expect men to be strong enough to help themselves. They think that men should have it together. Their like money, their health, their mental mind their bodies together, they think that men should have it together already. And that's not right. And that's not true. Men have problems a lot like women too, you know? And it doesn't make any sense, you know? 
So society, you know, in American society, they expect you to blame yourself. But really, how can you blame yourself? You know, if the society in America doesn't want to help you out with your mental mind, your health, um, they just, you know, leave you alone. You know, they just treat you like you're some type of alien or robot. Everybody's like that now, you know? So, how can you blame yourself, you know, or complain about all this problem with American society, you know? Just doesn't make any sense. So, it's been already 15 minutes long with this video. I want to explain what, you know, I mean, I want to explain how can you blame yourself if you live in a, you know, American society that is a lonely culture, isolated, separated, and dysfunctional, you know, society, you know, everybody disagrees with each other because they have their own opinions and their own views of religion, politics, and the way of living, you know, in, the, in their way of thinking. So, that's about it. So, the next video I'm going to make is about... Uh, Winston Wu, you know, the famous guy, popular guy on YouTube, he was talking about everything messed up about American culture, you know, um, so I'm gonna make that a video, alright, this, this is a part two video, uh, or part one video, alright, signing out.